Hey, I'm Kirk Kaiser, developer of Budamine, and today I'm going to be walking you through using the Budamine app. You'll see, uh, let's see, there you go. You can see when I pull it up at the top, it says no connected device. Usually this means that, you know, you don't have a heart rate monitor on and it, it doesn't see it. Um, if you were to have a heart rate monitor on, like to graph and use the graphing feature of Budamine, uh, your heart rate monitor would actually show up here as soon as you put it on. Um, Below that, you have a meditation length uh, at 5, 10, or 20 minutes. Um, you know, for me and for beginners, you know, 5 minutes is really good to start out and see if you can do the whole thing. I'm going to go into settings really quick. Um, and I'm going to talk about the, the few audio settings you have here. Um, you, you have at the very top, use binaural beats. And um, if you toggle it on, Binaural beats are kind of a, an interesting thing. Um, there's a little bit of conflicting scientific research about it. But basically, a uh, binaural beat is something where two different wavelengths are put into each ear, and your brain actually creates a third wavelength. And there, so the conflicting research is that you know, this is going to help you shift your mental state from being in a, a beta or a gamma wave state into a theta wave state, for example. And so you know, there's this hypothetical, very conflicting research that says you know, it'll help you change your your, the state of your mind. And so I included it in there as kind of an experiment to see whether or not people found it useful and whether or not people got results with it. Uh, underneath it, I have um, beach sounds. So in researching for this, I found that one of the quickest ways to change somebody's anxiety or stress levels was, um, you know, just images or sounds from nature. And so I included um, beach sounds and nature sounds to really help you get into a relaxed state. Um, the research was pretty straightforward there. And now I'm going to go and pull up my previous meditation so you can get a, a feel for you know, what it looks like to have a whole bunch of previous meditations. So I meditate just about daily. And you can see I have a whole you know, backlog of previous meditations. And if I go into one of these, let's find a, a good one. If I go into one of these, you're going to see just what a meditative state looks like. So, you know, there we go. That's a beautiful meditation. You can see what happens, um, and the whole reason behind Buddha Mind using a heart rate monitor is something called your heart rate variability. And so, as you breathe, you're um, in a meditative state. Your heart starts going up and down, and so your heart rate starts fluctuating in accordance to your breath. And so you can really tell when somebody's entered a meditative state by just looking at their heart, and it's incredible. I'll pull up um, another one to show you what it looks like when somebody isn't meditating. We'll see if we can... So this is what, you know, a standard graph looks like for somebody who isn't meditating. So you can see here there's like, you know, just a lot of randomness in here. And so really graphing somebody's heart rate variability with um, a heart rate monitor is just an insane way to track and keep somebody accountable that they're meditating. So I'm going to go back and I'm going to go to the home screen again. And, um, you know, a lot of people are asking me if they need to have a heart rate monitor to use Budamine. And the answer is no. Um, so I built this basically from the beginning to be the ultimate platform for meditation on the iPhone. So, you know, I downloaded every meditation app there is on the, the iTunes store. And, you know, there's hundreds of them. And, um, you know, I really distilled down the best features I could find. So if I go and I click, um, let's select 10 minutes and I click meditate. You're going to see um, up top, you've got 10 minutes, letting us know that we selected 10 minutes. And then to the left here, you're going to see uh, what, what, what's called a breath bar. So that's going to help you measure your breath. Um, and so you're going to breathe in as it goes up and breathe out as it goes down. So if I click start, I'm going to get a 10 second countdown. And if you hear in the background, I don't know if you'll be able to hear it, but I have my phone connected to my Bluetooth speakers right now. And so you can actually hear the binaural beats. and if you were connected, you could hear a gong in the background. Uh, that gong lets you know that your meditation has started. And at the end of 10 minutes, um, you know, you might not necessarily keep your eyes open the entire 10 minutes, but at the end of 10 minutes, you'll hear that gong again to let you know that you've finished your meditation. So I'm gonna click cancel, and I'm gonna actually put my phone down and actually put on a heart rate monitor. So with me right now, I have um, the Polar H7. Um, it's on the Buddha Mind website. I highly recommend it. I've tested quite a few different heart rate monitors that are Bluetooth LE compatible. And it really is 
the best one I found. So I'm sliding on the strap, which can be pretty difficult to do um, if you're just beginning. And then I'm going to spin it around and snap in and make sure that it snaps on. Okay, now back to Buddha Mine. If you look, you can see that it now says, you know, polar heart rate sensor. And underneath it says not connected. And still up top it says no connected device. So now that I put on the heart rate monitor, um, the iPhone is recognizing it. So you don't have to pair with anything, you don't need to go into settings. Um, you just really um, put on the heart rate monitor and open up the app. And you'll see it here, so I'm going to tap it. So I tapped it, and now it says at the top, polar heart rate sensor. So we know that the polar heart rate sensor is connected. And I tap it again, and I'm actually going to get a live feed of my heart rate. And you can see your heart rate doesn't stay in one place. Um, it's always bouncing around. It's always fluctuating. So if I were to pick my meditation length of 10 minutes and then click meditate, um, I'll click start. Um, over here, you're going to see two small icons. I don't know if you can even see it. But basically, let's see. Yeah, heart rate is 79. You can get a live update here. And then your variability is going to be right down here. So if you're, you can't see it right now in the video, but if you were to use um, the, the app, you'll be able to tell when you use it. So basically, if I were to do my 10 minute meditation, I'd finish, leave notes, and save my meditation. I can view the graph afterwards. So that's just a really quick overview of Buddha Mind. If you have any more questions, please don't hesitate to leave them below or uh, contact me at buddhamindapp.com. And I hope you have a good day and enjoy your meditations. Thanks.